Amanda Holden has bagged herself a big money deal with streaming giant Netflix to host a brand new dating show about cheating. The 53-year-old is said to be earning a whopping £500,000 for her new global gig which she has called her dream job, according to The Sun. The show has been called Cheaters, Unfinished Business and it's a dating series with a conceptual twist which will see eight former couples reuniting after one cheated on the other. Being able to be showcased on a platform like Netflix will open up a whole new audience to the Britain's Got Talent judge which is great as Shush has been reportedly house hunting in America for the past six months. Speaking about her new role, the mum of two said, Sometimes dreams do really come true. All my career I always wanted to host a show about love and relationships, and this is it. A series about second chances and unfinished business. I can't wait to meet and help these couples work out whether they can forgive and forget. I'm absolutely thrilled to be a part of it. Amanda's new job comes after she recently confirmed a third series of her travel renovation show with Alan Carr on BBC One. She took to her Instagram last week to announce the exciting news to her loyal 2.2 million followers. She posted a selfie with Alan, 47, as she donned a jean jacket and a large summer hat in the picture. Alan looked excited, smiling widely while wearing a khaki green jacket. Amanda wrote above the snap, Hola. Back together for series 3, alongside a red heart emoji. The second series aired on BBC One earlier this year, with fans tuning in each week to see the pair renovate a dilapidated 17th century house in Tuscany that they purchased for one euro. However, this time the duo will be swapping Italy for Spain as they head to the province of Andalusia to highlight some of the forgotten areas in the Costa del Sol in order to enhance tourism. Amanda and Alan will take on yet another rundown property and will renovate it to perfection, with the eventual proceeds of the sale going to comic relief and children in need.